<laughs> it's cold. It is a bit chilly. Oh, it is a bit chilly, yeah. 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 Hi. Hi. Welcome. To the show. Which is called... Sunday Chat. Sunday Chilly Chat. Oh, yeah. That could be a chat whilst it's chilly. Oh. Or it could be about chilly. Yeah, or sure, it could sure. be about chilly. God. Honestly, <laughs> welcome, bloody welcome, and thank you for tuning in yet again to another episode of the show Sunday Chat. Sunday Chat! Starring Richard and Paul. And remember, if you want it all, watch <laughs> Richard and Paul. <sighs> oh dear, yeah. Anyway, let's get on with the show. It's not going to be a long one this week. You say no. that all the time. No, well, it's not. We're busy, aren't we, at the moment? Oh, so busy, and blooming nose is running again. We're we're sort of going through a period of time. Well, I mean, your nose Handkerchief. is just running, but going through a period of time where if we have something hot, our noses start running as well. well you know, if you're time. eating a meal or something, and your nose starts running. I don't know why that I mean, is. How old do I look now? I've got to the <laughs> stage where I'm putting a <laughs> handkerchief into my sleeve. <laughs> Oh dear. Like yeah. all old people do. <laughs> Mum yeah. still does that, doesn't she? Well, my yeah. granny used to, I remember yeah. years ago, she always had a handkerchief somewhere. And, yeah, yeah. You know, you dad, need it. Dad always used to have handkerchiefs. Well, that's one of your dad's. Yeah. Is it? Handkerchiefs, yeah. 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 When, um, yeah, when we were sort of clearing out things um, after Dad had gone, there were a number of, of packets of those... They were old, new. They were yeah, new, new packets new. of old, well, new, but old style hankies. Do you know what I mean? Where, where there's that pale sort of, um, what's it called? Like Scottish oh, thing, tartan at the side. Um, yeah, well, but they're, use, they're really useful, yeah? They yeah. are useful, they're yeah. good. Just pop them in the machine, give them a wash, that's it. You've got a handkerchief again. And uh, then you iron them, don't you? Yes, Paul. <laughs> I don't iron anything, I ever. You ironed some shirts maybe about six months ago? I will, no, what I do is I iron shirts in the summer because I like a shirt in the summer. You, you've seen my colourful shirts that I like. So I'll do a batch of ironing when the summer shirts are required. That's it. Oh, and if we have a visitor, I will very often iron the duvet for them. Just to make it nice. <laughs> you... The duvet cover, not the duvet. Oh, right, OK. I thought that might melt it or something. Well, it would certainly flatten it. Yeah, it would, wouldn't it? Would, it? Yeah. Anyway. And I notice yeah, you're, blah, 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 you're blah. positioning the iron that never gets used at the moment on top of my scales that I use every day to weigh myself. So I have to move the iron every day. Major trauma, that. Major trauma. Get over it. <laughs> Deal with it. <laughs> so, yes, yeah, so blah 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 and goodbye. Bye. See you next week. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it's the quantum version this week. It's quite funny, but <clears throat> it felt as though when we were sort of clearing the store, everything was really quite full on, but actually, it's been pretty full on since then, hasn't it? It's quite a lot to clear still. Yeah. Well, not in the store, but in the home. The store's gone, for those of you who maybe haven't caught yeah. up. The store is over. We have a sort of wall of things in our dining room, which I've tidied this morning. We had stuff on the dining room table. It was driving me insane. You were out this morning at a work party. Yes, I just couldn't go on. Um, you were at a work party. More on that in a bit. More on that later, Paul. Yeah. Yeah. And I decided to just get things a little bit more organised, put a few more things on free... Uh, trash nothing, I keep calling it free cycle. Trash nothing to give away. Um, various bits and pieces. So I've been doing that this morning. A little bit of cleaning, toilets, bathroom, because we're having baths these days. Um, nice and warm and lovely. 
Mm, I'm rather enjoying a bath. So am I. It's a nice change, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, I have to say, I've always really liked a quick shower, a nice, hot, quick shower. Always like that for many, many years, but I'm really enjoying just submerging in a bath at the moment and listening to BBC Sound with an Agatha Christie or a play or something like that in the background. Yeah? Well, not in the background, next to my ear, because it's on the side Shush of the bath. Shush now, yeah. Paul. Um, blah, 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 busy week. Da, 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 da. But first things first. It's Richard and Paul's weather report. Mm. Isn't it? Yes. It's quite bizarre. On Monday, mm. if you watch a week at the plot on Planet Veg Terry, you'll have seen this. And you'll have seen the change through the week. Um, if you watch the upload when it comes on Monday, you'll notice it. But on Monday, I was working at the plot in shirt sleeves. I had three t-shirts on. Crazy fool. Well, the sun was absolutely beating down. And in the sun, it was gloriously warm. I mean, it was only like 10 degrees, but with that sun, it really and kept And if you're you working warm. as well, I mean, I, you know, yeah. I was doing stuff this morning, up and down the stairs, round and round, woo like a... A dizzy thing. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. <laughs> like a dizzy thing. Like yeah. a dizzy tit in a trance. <laughs> um... Uh, what was I saying? Uh, yeah, and I was really warm at one point. I thought this is luxury to be warm. Absolute luxury. That wasn't the male menopause, was it? No, it was the fact I was exerting myself and doing stuff, which is fine. It's fine when you're doing housework. It's when you sit down and your fingers start to get cold or, mm. you know, or you're putting washing out. That really gets my hands. Well, the, the washing's cold, damp, isn't cold it? washing, yeah. you know? So I've done a load of washing yesterday i did a load of washing this morning blah 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 weather ha, report blah. weather report <laughs> <laughs> so as the week wore on that that sun was still there but it began to get a little bit sort of cooler yeah. and then yesterday it was gray and today it's well, pretty no, gray properly paul let's break it down we had a couple of hard frosts yeah. Didn't Yeah, we? overnight, obviously. Yeah. Um, and clear skies, had a few starry evenings. Mm. Had full a few, moon? Was it the full beginning of the week full moon, wasn't yeah. it? Or last Sunday? Well, you took a photo of the full moon at some point. I can't remember when it was. No. No. Um, but yeah, at some point. And cold nights, sunny days, but then it's turned grey. Yeah. Which means, of course, it does actually stay a sort of moderate temperature without it dipping too low. But without the sun's rays, it doesn't really warm up. No. No, no Paul. But it keeps... Uh, that blanket of cloud does act that. as a sort of insulation I thing. So that. even though it's not warming up, it's not getting cold during the day. It's really not. Well, At night it is. It's remaining around sort of 8 to 10 degrees. Yeah, yeah. And I think that's how it's going to be for the next week or so. And dry. Well, no, it gets a bit wet next week, doesn't it? But it's been dry all it this has week. Been dry. And very, very yeah. mild breezes or no breezes whatsoever. Gentle breezes. Gentle. Gentle breezes. Is that like medium weight rain? Yes. Yes, yes. yes. I did hear that term used by a weatherman the other day. Medium weight rain. Yeah, so there we are. So there we are. That's the weather. Yeah. <laughs> I've looked London. ahead and it looks as though it's going to sort of stay pretty average, really. Yeah, I've just said that. Have you? I just Sorry, said that I wasn't listening to you. Yeah. No, so, I meant for the rest of the month. So indeed it has been a busy week. Another week of giving things away letting things go and oh, we got rid of two doors yes two doors that we're no longer in need of you know proper doors mm. for door openings for doorways doorways yeah <laughs> door openings well it's an opening well it is an opening but it's a doorway yeah and they were taken by the tabard theatre company which is based in chiswick mm. and it's for their sets yeah I mean, that's fantastic. 
So yeah. if you're going to the play that I think is on from this week, from like this week coming, um, for the next couple of weeks, you'll see two of our doors. Both are being used. So yeah, both they were are being used into store. No, said. they're being used in the play that oh. is going on, and then they will go into their into their set, set store. store. So, um, so that's really good. So Isn't our that our, um, our doors are going to live on, and the the reason that they wanted them is because they are um, they're just bare wood, and whenever they need bare wood doors for sets, they've usually had to Get have them stripped. stripped. Um, but yeah, ours. Yeah, ours. Now people are probably wondering what on earth you had two doors for. Well, we used we to have them a for door, doorways. We used to have a door between our kitchen and our dining room, which was the only doorway to the dining room until we opened up another wall, which was a plaster boarded wall and a set of shelves, and we opened that up. When we first moved in, we realised it was an old doorway and said, why not open it? Have it open. Yeah, open but it people, up. It's our snug at the moment, so people might be confused when you say it's between... It's now our snug. Yeah, yeah. So there was that door, and then there was another door between the kitchen and the utility room, which was just too much. Yeah, yeah. It was just in the way. It was one of those doors that was annoying, because... It, I mean, you have you know you had to open it to go into the utility room, and the utility room isn't huge. No, so it's small. Yeah. So we took that off and mm. stored them in case we would need them in the future. We've decided we don't need them and said goodbye. They've gone. Yeah. Yeah. So um, yeah. And interestingly, <coughs> I went to the <coughs> library this week to get a yes. new. Um, a new Stephen, not a new Stephen King, but a new yes, to me. a book, a book. And the person that used to own this house, the couple, the lady was the at lady. the library. The lady. So we had a really good chat. As I was sort of scanning my book in, she said, oh, do you live in St Dunstan's Road? And I went, yes, I do. And she said, um, I think you bought our house. So isn't that nice? You mean you'd both changed that much? Well, that you I didn't, didn't recognise each other. I think it's different sort of um, environments, isn't it? You think different things. Do you know isn't, what I mean? it, isn't it funny how you and her have changed and I've stayed exactly the same <laughs> in 20 years? Oh, yeah, not 30 years, though. I came across a photo that he gave me when we, when we started seeing each other. That one... On the, it's you in Greece on that one with your dark Spain. curly hair. Spain. Spain. With I was 21. Oh, 21. Mm -hmm. Like a, a, a Greek god he was. Oh, I don't think was. so. <laughs> you were my Greek god. Well, that says it all, doesn't it? <laughs> By like your standards. Pan. Yeah, something like that, yeah. Anywho, Paul. But it's, so, it's funny that we're coming to the end of our time in this house and, you know, I met the person that we bought it from. Yeah. yeah. There we are. Yeah. Interesting. Mm. It's all meant to be. It was a sign. It was a sign. There we are. It was a sign. So, yeah, busy week, stuff, blah, 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 just getting on with it, still loads to do. Uh, but we're getting there slowly. I took oh. a few things to the recycling centre. Yeah. We had quite a lot of electronics and there was also some books. I did another Ziffit this week. That was another 40 odd quid coming back to us. And then the books that we didn't want that couldn't be Ziffited. They, um, I took those to the recycling centre with electronics. So that was good. Yeah. And um, there's more clearing out in the cupboard upstairs to do. And interestingly, something cropped up this week with a, a client I used to have like 20 odd years ago, more than 20 years ago. And this client contacted me and said, I, I know this is a long shot, but do you have the image of the play that we worked on together? And I went, yes, I do because I had just scanned that leaflet in a few weeks ago when we were clearing things out. So I was able to send him 
that because he wanted to to see what they had done then because he couldn't quite remember. Alexa, please stop. So I was pleased to be able to help him and, and of course that's one of the reasons that I've been keeping stuff but now of course you can scan things in, yeah. Yeah. So I mean we've still got quite a bit of stuff that needs to go. Mm. The videotapes need to go. Um, there's a few bits and pieces that we'll probably have to go through again mm. at some point. I notice you, you'd got a that final box from the store, which we haven't been through together yet. Yeah, it's a half box, isn't it? And I, yeah. think, I think there's probably going to be quite a few things we can give away from that box. I don't know. Well, Maybe. I'm not giving yeah. away that Spode tea service, because the, that is very cute. Or the little maple chopping board. I rather like that maple chopping board. That you're never going to use. No, I will use it. I will use what it. What about the marble cheese slice? No, I'm not going to use that. No, I think no. that can be given away. Yeah. But I think maybe that can be given away on Trash Nothing rather oh, yeah, than yeah, yeah. put outside by the car. And we also... Um, last, Actually, last why not? Because it enables you to slice cheese very thinly. Why not what? Keep it, because it lets you slice cheese thinly, Paul. I can slice cheese thinly. On the grater. I can slice cheese thinly anyway. I can't. <laughs> um, it always turns out like a big wedge. <laughs> when I chop cheese. We also, I'm not sure if this was in last week's, but last week you put a whole cabinet together, didn't we? I think we might have talked about that. But on yeah, the did. on the Sunday we gave it to, to neighbor. a neighbour. Um, so that was really good to, to, to see that being used as well. And we were able to experience what another person's house feels like with heating on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. As well, yeah. she's got underfloor heating. Mm. Oh my God, it was warm. And cats. And she's got these two adorable, adorable little Bengals. Mm. So sweet, so silky and soft and kissable. Yeah, oh. yeah. And they're, they're at that age oh, that you just can hold them both, up and cuddle them. You know, two just hands. kiss yeah. them and cuddle them. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> Lovely. Yeah, <laughs> so we had a few moments of feeling warmth. <laughs> <laughs> in a residential property. Oh dear. We actually did get our, our um, energy bill this week and we had saved 70%, we'd used 70% less gas than a year ago yeah. at the same time. 50% yeah. less electricity. Yeah. <clears throat> the bill was 25% more than it was a year ago. £375. And I worked out that if we use for a month, and I worked out that if we'd use the same amount of energy as last year, the bill would have been one thousand one hundred and eighty pounds for a month. For a month. So we're actually paying three hundred and seventy pounds a month to be cold in our own home. Yeah, to not not be freezing. Yeah, basically yeah. madness, madness. Anyway, there we are. There we are. It is what it is. It is and the energy is, companies make yeah, 50 billion profit this and all of that. This is the problem. Yeah. We're all going, oh, it is what yeah, it is. No, absolutely. We should all be walking out and protesting. Well, what the government should be doing is the government should be reducing the price cap that, that the energy companies can charge because they can do this. Yes, anyway. They can do this. Instead of saying we're going to take a windfall tax from them, because, of course, taking a windfall tax isn't going to benefit... Most Anybody. people, it goes into general taxation and then they say they use it for the benefit of people. Of course, they, they don't. don't. No, I'd rather it was in my pocket than um, in government coffers. Yeah, but, it's, um, it's rather maddening. It's rather sick making as well. Mm. And it makes a lot of people feel very angry. Yeah. And, you know, before you know it, there's going to be some kind of civil unrest, civil unrest in this country. And frankly, without appearing to incite anything i think that would be a good idea mm. but there we are but the there last we are. time that happened we had riots <laughs> yes we did and it was very frightening yes. 2011 yeah we remember it yeah yeah we were up all night yeah anyway oh. anyway oh. going back to lovely little catties mm. no we've done that now. i know but i want to go back to them because it makes me happy so They're there we are very very sweet very sweet <laughs> Anyway, right. so move on. Let's move on. It's not a long one. We've said that already. So, Paul, you were out this morning at a work party down at the allotment at the orchard. 
So, um, I'll talk about this more in a week at the plot. Oh, good. But basically, we have a cider orchard on the allotment, and it's been a person cider orchard for 20 years. The tenant planted it over 20 years ago. And the tenant has had to give up the plot. And we've spoken to the charity who owns the site. Um, because there are various options, you know, the trees could be grubbed out and the, the plots put to growing spaces, traditional allotments. We looked at them being um, managed by a, an orchard group externally. Anyway, we looked at various options and the charity said that they would like us to manage it internally. Mm. And that's really, really good. And um, today was the first work party in that orchard area. And the trees have not been maintained well for a long time. And we had a really good pruning session this morning on the trees, mainly concentrating on dead wood and crossing branches, of which there were many. <clears throat> I think there's about 23 fruit trees there, um, cider apple trees. And the, in some years, the apples, which get made in cider, they have created uh, award-winning cider. So, you know, it, it, it's really good. And the trees were planted, the varieties of tree were planted to produce a certain type of cider. So all of the, the, um, the fruit gets harvested basically at once and makes a particular cider. So, yeah. That's that. We had a really good morning, and I was up. Uh, well, several of us were on ladders up trees, and um, it was just fabulous doing all the pruning, but but with hand tools, you know, hand saws and secateurs and loppers, rather than using any power tools. Yes, um, so, I like that. Yeah, there was no no noise, and all you could hear was chatter. People sort of asking questions about, you know, shall I prune this, shall I prune that. Um, teaching going on. We've got several RHS fruit group people at the allotment who were there who were helping teach other people. The fruit group people? Yeah, RHS, the fruit group. The fruit group yeah. people. I'm a member of the fruit group. Yeah, yeah well, I can tell. <laughs> and it was just a lovely morning. Yeah, chatter and clipping and saw noises. It was great and we got a huge amount done and now there's a new dead hedge in the in the orchard area as well because all of the clippings that were taken today and all of the prunings have gone into a new dead hedge adding biodiversity so that was terrific it really was and I had bought some Bramley apple pies from Lidl and we had that with tea and coffee and yeah it was nice. And then we had the leftovers after lunch. Yeah, there were there was there were two more apple pies left. They were over very after. sweet, I have to say, very sweet, which is not a bad thing. <laughs> you quite like sweet. Well, uh, yeah, I have a sweet tooth. That's quite... why I have to resist eating sweet stuff all the time because I would just plough my way through a packet of digestives. Like I did yesterday at work. You didn't? I had five. <gasps> Over a whole day? No. <laughs> Over five minutes? Within basically. the space of ten minutes. Oh, yeah. right, okay. Yeah. Oh. I could oh. just keep on eating them. I Suddenly, it's like I have an out-of-body experience. I suddenly <laughs> see myself just forcing the biscuits into my mouth and crunching away. <laughs> And then I'm reaching for another one, and it's going in. Is it like a conveyor belt? Yeah. And then I have to go, oh, what are you doing? And I snap back into my body and realise that my gums are bleeding. <laughs> you silly. Not really. No, no. But you know what I'm saying. Your mouth tends, after a few, bis your mouth sort of feels a bit weird. Well, a bit cakey, a bit biscuity. Well, no, sugar, the effect of yeah, sugar on some people's yeah. mouths can make you a bit sort of, I don't know, sensitive in the mouth. It's like those um, really, really <laughs> sweet, like, sherbet lemons. Oh, yeah, I know what you mean. The ones with the licorice bit. 
No, you sherbet know? lemons. What is sherbet lemons? Sherbet lemons. lemons. It's a lemon with sherbet in the middle. Oh, it's like a those. Boiled sweet. What, what are those that you got in and they had a bit of licorice and they were sherbet? That's a, a doodah dip dab da la blah blah blah. I remember those. No, you had the, the ones with the lolly oh. and then the ones with the licorice. I had the ones with licorice. The licorice, it was like... Like a little firework, wasn't it? It was like a, a yeah, was it, it was. a sherbet dip dab. Dipper. A dipper. Dipper. Dip dab. Sherbet maybe. liquor. I don't know. I don't, I don't know. know. Anyway, move on. Mm. But yeah, it makes my mouth sensitive, that kind of sugar intake. There we are. Yeah. So anyway, let's move that on. That was just fascinating, that. Thank you for that. Well, I'm full of fascination. I would like to see, and I can do this, of course, because there is a thing called Google. I might do some research to see if Jessica Fletcher has a recipe online for her apple pie. Because we were watching Murder, She Wrote the other day, and they had a slice of her apple pie, which everyone loves. And I did wonder, I don't think I've ever had yep, an American shush now, apple Paul. pie. God. Apple pie, yeah. That's bringing us neatly on to... What have we watched on television this week? What, what have we watched? Well, first of all, the highlight of the week. Um, ITVX, which is a new ITV channel, streaming channel. Which, which is renamed. Which is free. Yeah, yeah, adver uh, advertising on it, yeah. Yeah, um, we decided, well, I, I said to Paul, I'd really like to watch Nolly. And you said, what? what's that? I've not seen anything about it. I said, it's the story it. of Noel Gordon. Noel Gordon. Noel Gordon. Um, now, for those of you who don't know who Noel Gordon was, um, there was a soap opera that ran from the 60s right through to the 80s called Crossroads. And it was all about a motel. And Noel Gordon played the lead role, Meg Mortimer, because it was kind of her story. Um, and she was she was very famous for this part, and she was also very famously sacked mm. from the from the role. Um, and it was kind of it, Nolly was her nickname, and Nolly is the name of the show, and it's all about this period in Crossroads' life and her story, what happened to her after that. Mm. And it was excellent. It's Helena Bon Bonham Carter playing mm. the role. Various other actors, obviously. I show. loved it. I I we, really, we really, really did. Thoroughly enjoyed it. Really good. It was good fun. The first episode there was an amazing sequence um, of the rehearsal mm. in the rehearsal room, and it was fantastic. That sequence. It was really, really showed. People at work on a show that they know really well in a routine that they know mm. really well and how they just move through that and sort it out. And you got the distinct impression that Noel Gordon was very much in control. Yeah. Which I think is one of the reasons why they uh, decided to give her the chop well it does it that story does roll out in the in this three-parter yeah um but it really was lovely and at the end i was crying i just thought it was lovely they they really yeah they resolved it really well yeah actually yeah um, we won't say any more in case you're not familiar and you'd like to watch it but uh, yeah that's nolly on itv x yeah it may be available on other platforms I in other have, countries I don't know I would have thought it will soon be available on Brickbox I would have thought because of course that's an ITV BBC collaboration and maybe other you know other of course you know they sell to other platforms they license to other platforms yeah, as yeah, well blah 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 so yeah we watched a movie Mr Hannigan's Phone with Donald Sutherland yeah and um, this is an adaptation of a Stephen King short story yeah. Which I read before we watched the, the, the film. So it's on Netflix. And I I wanted to make sure that I'd read the short story before seeing the adaptation. And it's quite interesting because there's 
there's some things in there that are word for word and scene for scene what has been written in the short story and there's other bits which are total new creation and um, Stephen King I think he was a producer on this as well Alexa please stop yes yeah, Stephen King was a producer on this as well and I'm I'm wondering if there were things sort of added that were discussed with him um, you know things that he might not have put into the short story because I, I heard him talking quite a lot about when he does do a short story there are things that he thinks I, I better cut that out so yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. So recommended, enjoyable, yep. Yep. good story, interesting, interesting plot. Mm. Um, we also continue with Vera yep. as well. Um, you made an interesting comment about Vera. Yeah, I've uh, the pay. Those of you who don't know Vera, it, it's it's not an it, it's not a full on exciting show. It's got a pace to it. Mm. And it builds very gradually to the, you know, the culmination of the particular plot. Um, And there are usually several red herrings Mm -hmm. to throw you off. I have noticed how formulaic it's become. I've also noticed, and I don't know what we've got to come in this series, I suspect... They will do what they usually do and put a character in peril. Mm. Um, But they need to get on with that because, to be honest, I'm finding the pace a little too sedate. I want a little bit more from it. Mm. I mean, Mm. I know the character of Vera is, you know, an older lady, um, you know, and Brenda Blethyn is getting on, bless her now. So I think she's getting to the point where... I think she wonders whether she continue, but it says that every single year in the press. So how yeah. much you believe yeah. that, I don't know. But, um, yeah, I... I well, you sometimes, the pa- sometimes the pace is a little too slow for me and it doesn't keep my interest. And if I'm feeling sleepy, I will succumb to sleep. Yeah. And we've had to pause and continue the next day. Next day. But there, there has been, uh, throughout the series, there's been quite a few times where, where Vera has been put in peril or another in character. In previous series. In previous series. Yeah. Um, and, and that doesn't, there hasn't been that moment in, in the last sort of four that we've, we've watched. Um, and also we've not been, we've not been finding out much more about her life. So whether that's the fact that her life um, is static and or con- resolved or resolved or just simply continues the way it does mm. I don't know we've not seen anything about his life no we don't see much about him we, no. the, his predecessor her sidekick's predecessor um, we saw yeah. a lot more about you know his wife and his kids and things like that um, it's quite a tight... I'm wondering whether, because of the pandemic, they've kept it more of a sort of tight set. Don't know. I don't know. But, but anyway... But still it's enjoyable. Still Absolutely. Enjoyable. Have still. you murdered someone back? Because if you have love, we'll find out. Mm. Always worth that. So, oh, I've forgotten what these shorthand versions are. So, R and T D D Q T M S W. What's that? Um, question time. R and T. Um, oh, rosemary. And rosemary time. and time. Yeah. Question time. Question time. D D. What's D D? D D. D D. D D. What's D D? Dragon's Den. Oh, Dragon's Den. Dragon's Den. Yeah, Dragon's Den was quite interesting. This and, week. We quite enjoyed it. And yeah. M S W. Murder, Murder she, she wrote. wrote. Yeah, yeah. So the usuals with lunch mm. over dinner. But Dragon's Den was quite good, wasn't it? There were a few interesting characters. Yeah, but, you know, at the end of the day, it is what it is. It's the same every week. I mean, it's basically (laughs) each of them saying, so I won't be investing, I'm out. You were very Deborah Meaden then. (laughs) Oh, oh, in fact, your face is very Deborah Meaden. I'm out. She looks down, puts a pen in her book. 
and has a look of disdain yeah. on her face. I love Deborah Meadon. Yeah, absolutely. I think she's absolutely lovely. I think her values are great. Mm -hmm. She's clearly a superb businesswoman, and I just like her character. Yeah. I just yeah. think she's dead honest, and I like honest people who have got a little twinkle in their eye. Yeah. Ding. <laughs> so anyway, that's it for this week's Sunday Chat. We do hope you've thoroughly enjoyed it. That's all. I'm out. <laughs> You're um, out to have a bath, aren't you? I'm, I need to have a bath. Um, I need to have a good old shave and defoss. I'd love to cut my hair at some point. I'll cut your hair. No, you won't. I don't think so. I'd rather cut it myself. I'll take my chances with me in the mirror. <laughs> um, yeah, but I won't, be, I won't have time to do that today. We're going out to a friend's for dinner. She's making spaghetti. Right. We're having a spaghetti and we're going to take a cake over. Yeah. Yes. Cake over. Cake over. A cake, cake over. Cake over. Yeah. Over. Yeah. Over the road. Yeah. So, yes, we need to. And I need to get this edited and uploaded as well. You so do. you all have it in good time because I know some of you like to watch it in the early hours of the morning. So, bye for now. Is that it? We're going now. Say bye. Bye. Bye.